Mike Younger here from LearningGolf.tv. Today talking to you about how to hit a short chip shot on a fairly quick green with not so much green to work with. I'm about uh, six to eight feet off the edge of the green here. Uh, the ball's in light, rough, uh, not too bad of a lie, and it's slightly downhill uh, to the flag. So to hit this shot, in this case because the green's uh, faster and downhill, I'm going to take a 60 degree lob wedge and I'm going to play it as a standard chip shot. And to do that, what's most important on this shot uh, is simply to stand with the feet narrow. Uh, we're going to play the ball off the back foot. So that's going to encourage having my hands forward. And I'm going to stand as close to the ball as I can. Uh, and the reason for that is the closer we can get the club to this vertical position, the more it can swing like a pendulum. Uh, and to do that, as far as swinging it like a pendulum, once I'm in this setup position, which also has the club on the same plane as my trailing arm, as I teach in my full swing as well, uh, this is the easiest way to hit a golf ball. But from this ball position here, basically, setting up with my feet square, and then turning the feet a little bit towards the target, all I'm going to do is with very relaxed hands is turn the body back to move the club back and turn the body through to move the club through. Very important on this shot is to make sure that in the finish that the club is not pointed back towards yourself. So it's very important uh, that we make this motion here and what it's doing with this setup position is creating a very straight path. If you've seen a lot of my full swing videos you see I'm talking often about a straight path through impact with the club face square and a long flat spot. And that's what we'll be able to accomplish here. I'm gonna hit a couple here for you, it is straight back and straight through, but the entire motion is created with my body and my hands are basically uh, very relaxed on the club. And they're basically allowing the club to hinge a little bit here and then basically holding that going through. So I'm gonna hit a couple for you here. So you can see what it looks like. Pretty good. And again, I'll try to make my practice swing, get a feel with my practice swing, exactly how I wanna hit the golf shot. And then I'll just go to the ball and repeat it. Nope, not my day today. So again, trying to feel the rhythm body back and through, hands relaxed. When I have the swing that I want like that, I'll go to the ball and just repeat it. So I got three tap ins there. Uh, pretty easy. I'd like to actually make this shot uh, probably one out of five times. Uh, if not one out of ten, it's probably more realistic. Uh, but practice the shot, practice the technique. Uh, it's very close to the same technique that we need in the full swing from the setup uh, is getting the club going through with the grip leading. So any questions, please put them in the box below. Uh, please click the red subscribe button below to get notified as new videos come out. And visit learninggolf.tv. I have a very inexpensive membership program that allows you to submit videos for my review and has a complete learning system, which greatly simplifies the learning of the golf swing. There's also information on my school. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day.